Hey everyone, what's up, what's up, welcome to the stream. This is Kramon and today we'll be basically talking about the uh, the new update, right? So we do know that there is the New World Arena 2v2 team battle. And what's up Ricky Van Lam? Hi, hi. Uh, basically it's like 2v2 system for RT. I think it's gonna be very interesting so we'll be taking a look at that. And... We'll probably do like a couple of RTA fights as well, if we have the time. Because this will be a slightly short stream, maximum about 30 to 45 minutes, alright? And <coughs> I will need to be playing my Siege Battle. <laughs> oh yeah, actually doing recruiting. So yeah, um, if you guys are looking for a guild, we are... <laughs> We are trying to recruit, I think, two or three players. Uh, will be nice. If we can fill up the slots ASAP. <laughs> hey yo, Ralph, Kevin, and Raph. Thank you very much for the congrats. Yep. Uh, honestly, it was a very tough fight against Boss. I, I just released a video. So if you haven't watched already, you can check it out after this or something. <laughs> And we are ev actually having a siege battle ongoing right now. So we're up against Lazy Time and Dominions. However, I won't be doing it live because I need to do like a uh, recording for me to implement like the Rune Showcase and stuff. Of course, Rune Showcase will be back to usual. The only reason why I take it out is because during uh, tournaments, I switch my runes around every single time. So I, I don't really know like what unit is having which rune sets and <laughs> it's just a little bit messy so I didn't want to post that out. Um, yeah, uh, let's just head right in to this info, right? I just saw like a Sean B video saying like Lulu is getting nerfed. Is that true? <laughs> I've not seen it yet. So yeah, basically this is it. Uh, greetings from the Summoner's War dev team. It's been a while since our last dev note. As promised, we are back with another exciting update news. I, I think this one will change the game. Um, it's gonna be refreshing the game. Yeah, definitely. More people will definitely play this one. So, in a way, even though you're not as strong, but together with somebody else, who may be having like a wider monster pool and stuff like that. You you guys can synergize out together and get that win, right? So here is the new battle mode where you team up with another summoner to play in the world arena. I'm pretty sure you can actually choose like your teammates. Can you? I'm not sure about this. <laughs> So two summoners will team up to fight against another team of two summoners, having four summoners in total to fight in one battle. In this PvP content, a team that stays alive until the last wins. Okay, pretty standard stuff. <laughs> As the team support and cooperation will be the important factors, we believe that this new mode will bring different run to all users. It has been about five years. Has it now? Already five years since the World Arena. Since 2016, oh yeah, oh it's been so long. During this time, special events such as SWC Legend Tournament and improvement updates such as World Arena Season Achievements, of course like uh, things like the balance patches as well, which affects the RT significantly. And over time, our team has discussed the following topics. Okay, moving on to the chat a little bit. I'll be reading both the chat and also this information page. Uh, hi Cray, congrats on the tournament by Romanda. Thank you very much, man. Are you planning to post other game, Glenn, Kevin? Um, it all depends, actually. Honestly, now my time is quite tight, so um, it's gonna be full time summoner as well, definitely. And if I do have extra free time, maybe a couple of Ragnarok videos because I'm still playing that game, obviously. And yeah, just taking the game quite casual right now. <laughs> hey Craig, why missing so long? Thought you die already. Nah, I'm always here man. It's just very busy with real life, you know? Craig, is second Sierra worth building or nah? 
Mm, I wouldn't suggest you to make a second one. However, if you use Sierra often in like offense and stuff in your siege, or maybe it can be placed in your siege defense, then maybe you could make one because yet again, when you're making all these net fives like duplicates, you also need to skill them up. And uh, it might set back like all your other units and stuff like that. So uh, it all depends on your resources actually. So yeah, since this is a new type of PvP, content we believe that there may be changes and improvements so of course now they will be doing like a trial service period run first I, I believe it should be at least like a two weeks kind of thing and then after that once they get the feedback and data from the player base uh, they can do like some improvements and stuff and only doing like the f official release afterwards which makes sense this way, we will be able to listen to your feedback, like I said. No invitation will be required to enter the 2v2 battle during the trial period and no rankings will be available. So yeah, it's just like a place for you to enjoy. Uh, maybe you can team up with random people or you can even choose your teammates. I'm not too sure about that. I think it's gonna be very fun. Because honestly, I personally when I play RT, I don't have LD net 5 so it's gonna be... Somewhat nice to have like a teammate who has like Chiana and stuff like that on your team, right? <laughs> Instead of the opponents. So uh, I, I think it's gonna be quite interesting this one. Here is an image of the World Arena standby menu. Okay, so now we'll be seeing the interface that be the Special League and then the 2v2 battle. Okay. You'll notice the new icon. Mm-hmm. So for now, of course, it has only two functions, which is the quick battle and invite. You can team up with a random summoner on the same server via, via quick battle or with a friend via the invite function. Okay, very interesting. So only teaming up with a random summoner of the same server. You, you can't really team up with people from EU, global, those kind of stuff from what I'm seeing. Great, I have a question. Like with Delphoi, she cleansed the team ally. How about Bastet? Can he use S3 to team ally? Um, It's different users, alright? So Delphoi is a cleanser. Bastet is an attack buffer with shield and attack buff. Um, Delphoi is more like second turn. Um, You're like hiding behind the opponent's... Uh, strips and stuff like that. So even if they land like armor break and stuff, then Delphi moves after that to cleanse the whole team. Whereas Bastet needs to be moving first in your lineup so that you push everybody's attack bar to full and then maybe you go with your AoE strips and AoE nukes. Alright? Uh, Zach H. Upper Kaba Kray. Kaba Bike. Shashi. <laughs> Wondering about the ranks and stuff when you play with 4 players. Yeah, that's one thing I want to talk about as well how are they gonna rank so in terms of let's say i'm playing with one guy he's maybe like g3 i'm c i i'm g2 and stuff like that um what i'm guessing is at the end of the day whatever we win so we get like points since uh our points will increase um he'll probably get his own individual 10 points i get my own something along those lines yeah bust that skill isn't targeted so probably can't. Yeah, yeah I mean, Bastet is just like a attack, first turn attack buffer. Uh, things like Megan, yeah, Megan Bernard, all those kind of things. So this screen shows a summoner waiting for a team member to join. Oh, okay. <laughs> There'll be a chat system as well. Oh, okay. So you'll be able to talk to your teammate. Which is actually nice. So you can discuss together with your random or po well, your random teammate and see what monster pool you guys have and try to synergize your best deck out of it. So here's the UI. It'll be the first player against the second player, third player against the fourth player. Mm -hmm. So picking monsters, uh, this is basically the turn order. So player, if first pick, he'll be going first, followed by the opponent on the other side. And then your teammate into the uh, opponent after that. And then the f second pick is basically your, your teammate. Oh, very interesting. 
Hmm. So one, two, three, four. Oh, he actually got two picks here. So ban monsters. We will continue with the table given above. Each summoner will ban one monster of the Ottoman player. But what I really want to know is the gameplay actually. Yeah, uh wait, I'm I'm just reading the chat. All your Kaki max skill. Glad that your Galleon land defense break on Kakano. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's not easy to actually fight like the Kakano, Asher, Fuki. Of course there's other counters to it, but for me, I felt very comfortable using the Galleon, Triana, and Kaki because of course I do have very good runes on the Kaki big damage. Uh, I believe the rune set is what I'll be able to show you later, alright? Mm. And yeah, uh, we'll just focus on this first. So as you can see, the ally formation and enemy formation are divided. Okay, so in a way it's like left and right. Mm -hmm. So for example, okay, this is what I want to know. The targeting skills such as attack and recovery will basically target one player. For example, if the Wind Joker Lucian uses Amputation Magic to attack the enemies, the skill will be used on the monster deck of one player, not the entire enemy team. Ah, okay. So when you use the skill, you can choose either you want to use Amputation Magic on this team or the other. You can't use it on all, alright? <laughs> okay, makes sense. If not, they'll be quite OP. Mm? However, as you all know, there are skills that get activated without selecting specific targets. We discussed how the Water Oracle's Daydream, okay, so Water Oracle Praha has the heal, and whenever she heals, she puts the enemy to sleep as well, and her own team, or the Water Fairy King's passive skill that inflicts damage to all enemies upon his revival, which will be used to reach enemy deck. So, in the case of non-targeting skill effect whose target is not clear, Effect is applied to the player on the opposite side of you. Oh, okay. So, things like Praha, whenever you use the Daydream, you cannot target the other side. So, you'll be only sleeping the one facing in front of you, which is the opponent. Yeah, the targeting system will be very interesting to, to note in the 2v2. And how you synergize together with your teammate, Mm? You can see the Fire and Abyss, Wind, Lightning Emperor, and Water Desert Queen are located opposite of the Water Oracle. Yep, so they will be the ones that get slapped. Skill range of the effect for 2v2 team battles can be summarized as follows. In the case of targeting skills, you can choose one enemy player to use. Aerie targeting skills is also applied to all monsters of the selected player. Yep, so for example, if let's say Sierra, right? Um, I can place the bomb even on the Odin and continue working on maybe my own side. We can detonate the bomb here as well, but things for units like Sama Praha where we can't control the AoE skill, it'll be always facing the one opposite you. So I think that's fair enough. Very good uh, ideas coming out from counters basically. Because we've never had a co-op summoner's war fight apart from be the the raid, yeah, raid level five, where we just did like the Belliger and Jensen team. However, now you can even do it on your own. So <laughs> yeah, pretty nice. I I I actually like uh, when they implemented the R five where you can farm it yourself, so you don't really have to rely on other people. And yeah, basically, if you're relying on other people, you have to be there, like always looking at your phone. Uh, you do not be the, you do not want to be like the last person to uh, press ready and stuff like that. <laughs> and yeah, when you're fighting on yourself alone, PVE wise, um, there's like a leeway where you can just chill, uh, play during your own free time, right? So we have looked at how the battle progresses in 2v2 battle system. You can work with a team member to attack one player of the enemy team or other strategies that are slightly different from the existing 1v1 PvP. 
So yeah, oh, your team member can use a revival skill on your team. Oh, this is actually very nice. So if let's say my opponent, uh, my teammate has a Ella Jol and one of my unit dies, I can, I can chat with him and ask him to revive me unless he doesn't want to do it. <laughs> so teamwork is still very important. Okay. Win-loss formation for each team with the team members who played together is accumulated and safe. And the information will be reset when the new season starts. Okay, very interesting. So just a summary of the 2v2 team battle progress and features. So you can obviously create a team at a quick battle or invite menu. So you whether, whether you want to invite like a random player or your friends. To fight it out, then you can do matchmaking system. There's a band pick phase as well. You can select your leader skill. Uh, proceed with the battle. And of course the team with the last surviving player wins. So that's about it for this um, patch note for the 2v2 system. I'm actually liking this because it's gonna be very new to everybody and hopefully things like this, this kind of big updates definitely will revive the game. And yeah, with SWC 2021 coming up as well. If you haven't already, please watch the the MV. <laughs> There's like a official MV called Next Up. Yeah, you can watch this one. And we do get rewards when 1 million views are reached. So pretty nice stuff coming out from Comtes. And now I'll be able to read the chat a little bit, yeah? So... Yeah, hopefully they actually implement voice chat for the 2v2 uh, system. It's gonna be a lot easier than typing it out because maybe you only have like 30 seconds to choose your lineup and stuff like that. Sometimes um, your opponent uh, as in your teammate doesn't know what units you have, then it's gonna be quite hard for him to every time keep typing it out. <laughs> like pick this, pick that. Um, I, I think voice chat will be pretty nice if they have it for the 2v2. <clears throat> I got a feeling there will be a bit lag in 2v2. Um, That we will see. Uh, we won't know for sure, honestly, until the game, until the update is out. And I'm pretty sure Come to Us will be able to fix that if there's like lag and stuff. Uh, so far, so good. This game has never. This game, so far, doesn't have like any significant lag issues. So their server, server-wise, they are really strong. Mm, hi, Cray. What do you think of Nikki and RT? Um, one of my guildmates use it. I, I believe it's Coconut. But yeah, I, I, I don't really play RT anymore. <laughs> so I'm not too sure whether it's actually legit. But yeah, I mean that one is a G3 player. But of course she does have like Tianlong and stuff. Watch LD users totally destroy 2v2 with Yonhong and Frontos or something. Um, Yeah, yet again. You're, if you're having like Pontos, you're only... S you're only using the skill on your team, right? Like the the AOE clans and stuff. Cray, you don't do Twitch stream anymore? Honestly, I was thinking about it, but uh, for this update, I, I just wanted to do it on the YouTube platform. And also, maybe in the near future, when I got more time in my hands, then I will be uh, doing Twitch back. Because now, it's like really tiring, <laughs> like work, and then when I come back, it's like um, I make videos as well. So uh, if I can balance my time management properly, I'll try to fit in Twitch back because I, I feel like Twitch is still a very good platform for me to converse with you guys. We'll be able to chat real time as well instead of like just reading your comments. Uh, Twitch is more uh, friendly towards um, chatting with you guys real time, right? Hopefully the rewards will be nice. Yeah, I, I guess they do have good rewards. So far, so good. Like every content 
I got no complaints. <laughs> and yo, Charleston, hello, hello. I will first pick the Antares on 2v2. Yeah, I think Antares is gonna be quite strong. Uh, with the passive. Grats on the Siege Wind Drill, thanks. Yeah, we played really, really tough in that fight. Drained up all my energy on that day. <laughs> after, after I used my 10 wins, I just fell asleep for like 12 hours. Only during anniversary counters servers week. <laughs> counters won't give me Kakano, that's why I'm deciding if feeding second Sierra. Mm, I would suggest you to probably keep the Sierra, but if you do not have a blessing, I wouldn't really suggest you to make a second Sierra. I've got duped Sierras before, it's just that I don't see a point for me making another one. <laughs> Yeah. So Crazon, can you speak Korean? Nah, I'm not Korean. I'm Chinese. Yeah, Malaysian Chinese. So even then I can't speak Mandarin. I can't speak can I can't speak any of the Chinese dialect. Just English. Is the update out? Rafe. Uh good question. I, I believe it's gonna be coming out really soon, maybe next week, latest. Or maybe even this week, I'm not sure. <laughs> So we'll see about that, um, we just have to wait for the Google Play to have the update and then we can roughly gauge when it's gonna be coming out. Yep. They must lower the rank points at least 5k for G1, 2500 is very high for FTP like me. Yeah, probably. <laughs> now I'll be able to show you guys my RTA. So we are at rank 59,000. Good shit. And yeah, let's let's just try to get some wins. So how much you spend on Aro this month? Nah, uh, that one you private message me. <laughs> I'll let you know. <laughs> I don't want to say it over here. All right, uh, we'll just lock in the more. Cray from Vietnam. I'm from Malaysia, actually. Yeah. Oh, this guy going for the toxic lineup. Mhm. Mm I'm hoping for better balance patches now, maybe. I hope so too, you know. What I'm really looking for it is hopefully we can utilize things like the Wind Cannon Girl, Wind Omnuji. I think this too needs a very big uh, rework on their skills. So this guy wearing very heavy fire lineup. Huh. If only I had my monkey ruined up. But yeah, let's just go with this. <laughs> He's gonna go with another fire, I believe. C1 is like 1670 right now. Oh. Oh, that's actually really high. I remember back then, around 15, you should be in the C1 region. Yeah, I, I noticed when I'm fighting the the RTA, right? Like yesterday, I played a little bit as well. I was around like the high 1-2 something points. The 1002 points. And I kept matching up with C1 players. <laughs> I don't know why though. But yeah, hopefully we don't see any issues against this one. We are just gonna go with our accuracy leader because my, mon my monsters... Uh, efficiency isn't that great. They have the speed, but then we don't have like the accuracy intact. So we're just gonna go for the... Look at that! We felt this- oh my god! Huh! That's the reason why I stopped playing RT. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this ain't good. The Lulu is gonna get the... Yeah, the Lulu is gonna get the third skill up. Unless I Vinum proc? No. Ah shit, I need to armor break and violent. Damn it. <laughs> oh, we're gonna take a beating right here. We might lose, you know. I have to do this. Where is fun for you? RT content or guilt content? I'm more of a RT. I'm more of a guild slash siege player, 
So that's the reason why, um, if you watch my YouTube channel, right, I don't really post, um, RT videos. Occasionally I do, but yeah, I, I enjoy playing Siege the most. So I always make Siege videos. We still have a chance to win, you know. If we land the armor break onto the Laika. Can we attack break him? Yeah, let's just kill them more long. And we have to work on to this Laika. The Lulu is probably gonna heal it. The Rika isn't gonna do too much to us because we resetted her earlier. However, I am gonna reset the Lulu right now. So nice pushback and then can we attack break this guy? Armor break! Nice. Yeah, I'm gonna use the ventilate. I want to do the pushback. Ooh! Shit! I'm gonna risk it. If the Leica counters, I think I'm done for. But this justice definitely kills. We can't land the attack debuff. What is this? Lulu, don't proc. <laughs> okay, there's no way to win, right? Oh my god, we are losing to a C1. Wait, wait, wait. I feel like I still have a chance. Can we push back? We go for this again? Push back, kill. Not enough. Ah, the Lulu has the heal. Yeah, I guess this one GG. <laughs> yeah, really rusty in RTA. So yeah, I mean, even if a C1 wins us, like, screw it, right? Uh, we only lost, like, what, 6 points? And if we win him, we take, like, 19 points away from him, so he's on the... He should be the one scared, not me. Cray, when are you getting LD Nap 5? That is a very, very good question. I don't even know. <laughs> Yo, everybody is running this lineup, even in fighter. Are you kidding me, man? Huh. Everybody has the Lulu carnal kind of thing. Currently C2 cutoff, I think it's 1720, maybe not sure because I'm only C1. Yeah, I, I mean, at the end of the day, just take it one one battle at a time. Because... Uh, it's gonna be really hard to <laughs> climb up. <laughs> I don't think more does any work here, so I'll just probably go with some damage. Uh, Heigang is kind of redundant. And... Yeah, let's just lock in these units. <laughs> you must do RTA while live streaming, prevent from being bored. That is true. But um, we'll be stopping the stream in about 10 minutes or so, alright? Because I need to play my Siege Battle. My guildmates are actually waiting for me. And um, I can't do it live, alright? Because I need to... I need to actually post the... Not really post. Uh, do the editings of the Rune Showcase and stuff like that. And uh, for you guys to watch as a video. So that one I always make it as a recording. So yeah, Vincent, did you dine in anywhere recently? Yeah, I had the Omakase the other day at TTDI. <laughs> yeah, I was too bored. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna go for the strip. Give him the... Hmm. We can push back as well. Let's just do it. This Helena is gonna take a turn. However, can we armor break? Perfect. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for the attack bar. So very good damage onto the Heigang. Oh, but with this slow debuff, kinda count neutralizes the feel right now because we have the speed debuff as well. And if this unit goes crazy, we are done for. Okeanos has... Wow, he's gonna CC me up. 
Can we get a Vinyl Proc? No Proc! GG! <laughs> oh my god, we are losing every fight! We are losing every fight! Okay, okay. We are gonna play serious right now. Hi, Cray. Are you streaming on YouTube more now? Um, hopefully in the near future, right? Because... Like I said earlier, I'm still trying to uh, plan out my time management. Need to toggle between like work. Oh, yo, everybody has car now, man. Yeah, I basically need to toggle between my real job, the YouTube, and also Twitch. But yeah, recently I don't have time for Twitch. That's the reason why I've not really been uh, doing live streams. What is this man? Everybody is having the same team. What can I do? Going Rika here is actually not good. We're just gonna go with Jogan because if I pick Rika, he's just gonna go with another immunity user. Ah uh, yeah, uh, by the way, this is my Savannah runes, yeah? <laughs> so, the accuracy is like negative. Oh no. Ayo, hey, Perry, yes, that's right. We are live. You work for a firm, right? Yes, uh, family business, Jay. Yeah, everybody is using Bruiser lineup. Yeah, we're just gonna seal off this Diana. I do not want that shield on, on their heads. And then here we can just save our strip. We go for the attack at the armor break. Perfect. We even got the additional prop. And let's just finish off the chumpong. Boom boom. With this, I think this guy dies. Oh, last hit. Never mind my more my more cards. And then we go for this rolling spike. Left this Kana alone. And there's no way a Diana wins our whole team, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I remember I used to play this lineup quite a lot. The Kaki Savannah Cleave. Now let's just sell that. So yeah, we're ending off with like one last fight. And then I will be needed in my siege battle. <laughs> so Hector Ko. C1 user. Yeah, we'll go with Sierra first pick this time. So yeah, let me know down in the comments below like what you think about this 2v2 new update. I think personally, it's gonna be very interesting and refreshing to the scene. I can't wait for it. Honestly, uh, playing RT on my own, I'm not good. <laughs> so having a teammate to back me up, I think it's gonna be really nice. Unless it's like me, then <laughs> we are gonna have issues, right? So we are seeing again, very heavy on the defense side. Pivoting into the Diana and Vert. This guy very scared. Hmm. Yeah, we are gonna go with this. Because even if we ban the Vert, Okeanos gets the first turn, right? If he bans my Sierra. Hmm. Yeah, because we only have one speed lead. I used a similar team to that player a bit just now. CP, Lulu, Balanus, Vert, and Praha. Yeah, everybody is like doing that lineup. Like very high resistance and stuff like that. So yeah, you can see this guy already. <laughs> already going for that lineup. <sighs> yeah, I don't like the Lulu, man. I'm gonna ban it off. I got no choice. No choice. Because usually Vert is on triple revenge. And this unit is confirmed really slow. More, however, should be on his faster Swift. Okeanos as well. So even if we are on par with speed, my Jogan will move first. And we just need to pray that the Vert don't get the counter. Seems doable. <laughs> 
can't wait to see you stream more Cray, right? Right? Yeah, maybe in the near future, right? Uh, let, let me settle my my stuff first. Ah, uh, this guy no wheel, so we're just gonna seal it off. And then we go for the... Should we go for the Blossom's Painting? This is gonna be greedy, because I'm gonna give him a turn. No choice. Resist. Nice. And then now we push back. No additional prop, but it is alright. So now we'll just work on to the post. Uh, Okeanos. I believe we can... I'm not gonna take the risk. <laughs> I was thinking to use the normal attack. But... Yeah, I, I don't really want to take the risk there. We'll just try to remove the Okeanos. Perfect. Good, no additional prop. Now we'll try to armor break. This Dyna won't get too much attack bar. Yeah, just 10%. And with this normal attack... Okay, never mind, he quit the game. <laughs> so, we started off at 59,000 uh, rank, now we are 56k, uh, I'll probably do like 5 spots a day kind of thing, try to get back to like C3 or G1 hopefully, uh, to call this uh, season off right, because there's the, uh, the demon skin, I, I, I believe this season is the demon skin. And we pulled the Memphisto recently, so it's gonna be really nice to, to have that. But yet again, I think we are really far away. So yeah, uh, that's about it for this one. Just really wanted to introduce the uh, new battle system update, which is the World Arena 2v2 team battle uh, to you guys. And yeah, um, definitely more to come from Comptors. I can't wait to see... Um, the future updates that they will be bringing to the table and also uh, another thing maybe there will be a balance patch coming as well so come wait for that hopefully hopefully fingers crossed we do have mod wool in the in the pool <laughs> yeah uh, I, I I think having a mod wool uh, buff will be really nice because for now he's just not usable <laughs> And also, I, I yeah, I remember somebody wanted to see my khaki runes, right? So I made it uh, really, s not really slow, but slow enough to follow behind my galleon uh, right after. And then the attack is like 2380, it's just on a triple attack base uh, khaki. And with attack buff and galleon's uh, armor break, it does about... 34 to 37k nuke on the blade slaughter, which is really nice when you're fighting against like Kakano Fuki's kind of lineup. And uh, most of the time, it should one shot Kakanos, if not down to the last hit. <laughs> right? So, thank you everybody for chilling today. Um, yeah, I, I think I should actually try to focus on my schedule once again do more live streams for you guys and we'll be able to chill and hang out more often rather than not, right? Um, anything I'll let you guys know in future videos on my schedule alright, if let's say I have more free time and stuff like that in the near future so take care everybody, I really do hope that you enjoyed this video uh, take care, stay safe and I'll catch you guys soon, alright? peace out!